Mayflowers. In fact, uh, we've actually been watching right around our house a couple of things that we were expecting to bloom, and a few things are. A couple of flowers have been popping up. And even while we moved where we live now, we moved there, what, uh, 17, uh, 17 years ago, 18 almost, I think, 17, something like that. And uh, we're actually, when we first moved in, I planted some tulip bulbs out front. And figured, oh, they'll, they'll last maybe a year or two or something like that. They still come up. Sometimes they skip a year, but they are still coming up right now. Uh, as I just saw the leaves uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, looking out in the yard there and said, hey, oh, those daggum tulips, here they come again. Uh, but uh, here we are. We're on the Monday the Monday before the Big E. And I do hope, I do hope that uh, everybody out there is going to have as much fun as you possibly can with the Big E. And this is actually one of my favorites from this time of year, even though I, you know, I know there's going to be a lot of people that say, wow, Uncle Pete, really? That's one of your favorites? Uh, because they know me. And um, But anyway, yeah, I, I even actually sang this in high school choir. Uh, and, uh, of course, you know, Uncle Pete did the bass part because that's the only range his voice has got. But uh, here we go. This I like this one. I really do. I hope you enjoy it, too.
seem. I've always enjoyed that song. I always have. Uh, sang it way back in high school choir, and uh, I, of course, you know, I did the bass part there because what other parts my voice is going to handle? It just that's all it does. <laughs> but I always enjoyed that one. I really did. And here we are, the Monday before the Big E, and we've got springtime encroaching on us here. And all kinds of new things coming up. We see the grass getting greener. We see the flowers coming up out of the ground. We see the trees getting greener. And hopefully, even though we've got everything going on in the world that we've got, this little bit of springtime is helping you out. It's letting you see that oh, the world doesn't know this big ball we live on, the earth that we live on, has no idea what we're doing. They have no idea we're on stay-at-home orders and no idea, no clue whatsoever that, uh, you know, can't come up and say, uh, shake a hand or say hello. Uh, the, the bugs and the birds, birds are tweeting, flying around, doing their thing. Uh, late at night, I hear the coyotes howling and yipping and hollering, running around, doing their thing. Uh, the, it just, the rabbits are running around in the yards across the neighborhoods now again. I see those. Uh, it's just being a day out there, folks, and it's going to continue to just be a day every day. And I hope that that's what you can do, too. I know this is hard for so many people. Now, if you're stuck, you're looking for something to do. We do have something for you to do here at 21 Sixth Annette. And I uh, will tell you a little bit about it, and then we'll I'll shut up here in just a few minutes, and I'll let you enjoy all this music that's coming up for the rest of the morning here. Uh, but here at 21 Sixth Annette, we do actually have a contest going on. It started April 1st, just a few days ago. And you still have time. you got the entire month all the way. Uh, we're, we're taking... Uh, new shows basically it's a new show contest we're looking for new shows to air on 21 6 and that real life internet radio so we're holding a contest to find the next great new show that will air on our internet radio station why should you enter? Really? Uh, you got to ask. Well, here's why. Because through 216 The Net and 24 7 WPL, where podcasts live, those platforms, our audience reaches hundreds of thousands of listeners and live stream video viewers just like you right now every month and more than half a million every quarter. That many people are checking in to see what we're doing, see what's going on, all the different shows, even right here on Uncle Pete in the morning here on 216 The Net. Who should enter? You. You, right there, the person at the end of my fingertip, you should enter. If you've got a podcast and you want to grow your audience, if you have an amazing idea for a show and you want to get it on the air, if you're bored out of your ever-loving freaking mind because of the stay-at-home shelter-in-place orders or self-quarantining, you got to have something to do. You need a creative outlet. This is why you should enter. What are we looking for? Topics. Absolutely anything is considered. However, we are especially interested in true crime, true crime, not true crime, true crime, cars, anything about cars, anything and everything about cars, love and relationships. If that's something you deal with, we would love to hear about that. Your business, anything, small business owners, medium-sized business owners, professionals, anything about your career topic, your business topic, your service stuff, your products, if you've got a show centered around that, we would. this is your time to shine. Absolutely would love a show about that. More food, foodie shows. Um, music, more music, more of what either I do, uh, you know, something based, I don't care if you're doing playlists or if you just wanted it to be about music, music history, music fandom, whatever that is, random chat. You just want to talk to people and have conversations. That would be awesome. All kinds of stuff like that. Now, this is real life internet radio. You do don't, it, there's no FCC regulations. This is the Internet. You don't have to watch your language. We don't censor swears or curse words. Now, that said, <clears throat> excuse me, no COVIDs, just, just a lot of talking and a lot of dust here in the studio. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Thank you very much for being patient with me. Now, that said, you know, we don't, we don't censor anything like that. 
But we do ask that submissions please keep language to a PG-13-ish level. Again, you can say whatever comes out of your mouth. I prefer not to have, you know, something like George Carlin's God Rest His Soul. Love that guy, but his litany of dirty words, words you can't say uh, just because you want to. Um, forced forced language just it's not funny it's not it, it's tired and it's tried but we want we want you to keep it now what's in it for you what's in this for you this is a winner take all contest your show your show could win an entire year a 52 week run for free that's up to a nine thousand three hundred sixty dollar value there's no, it's not a cash thing. There's no products, no merchandise is available in place of nor in lieu of the 52 week show run prize. That's what it is. It's a show run of 52 weeks, one weekly show. Uh, your show airs 52 weeks. The airtime essentially is free. And that is what's available. That's the price. Now, terms and conditions apply. Uh, so you'll want to get details for those. You can send a note to 216net at gmail.com. Now, here we're going to tell you a little bit about how to qualify. Now, there's another video about this, which you can go look on our uh, Facebook page. And uh, Deke and I, uh, Kent and I, talk to you all about this. Uh, but the beginning on April 1st, you email your entry, your MP3 file, or if it's video, MP4 file, to 216thenet at gmail.com. This is only open to U.S. residents. Sorry, everybody. I know it's the Internet, and I know 216thenet is listened to globally, but due to copyright, laws and some other stuff it's only open to u.s residents to qualify your entry must include your actual first and last name not a profile name not a nickname but your first and last actual name your business name especially if this is about your business your entry is about your business title of your show the name of all hosts involved in your show, a description, a paragraph is fine, three to five sentences of your show, description of your show, and the length of your show, it has to be 15, you know, anywhere, but a minimum of 15 minutes long. <coughs> Sorry about that. A minimum of 15 minutes long, but not more than 60 minutes. So anywhere between 15 to 60 minutes, a valid phone number where you can be reached during the day between 8.30 and 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m. Central Time here in the U.S. Uh, and at least one completed episode of your show, again, via an MP3 file or MP4 file, and within your show sample that you want to submit, you have to say the name of your show, your name or your host name, uh, and uh, brought to you on or by 216thenet, 216thenet.com, Real Life Internet Radio. That's got that little shout out has to be included in your entry. Now, we're taking entries for which will be played on the air every Saturday, starting this Saturday, the 11th, all the way through Saturday, May 2nd. Entries for each Saturday have to be received by Thursday at noon. So Thursday, everything received by Thursday at noon this week will air this Saturday. And day, it doesn't matter how long it takes. It will, if we've got enough to fill the entire day, we'll fill the entire day. Uh, and then the way you and, and so on each week. So each your entry, and you can send more than one submission. You can enter more than once. If you've got multiple episodes, share them all. Uh, now, the way this is calculated is by all of the points your show accumulates. The most popular show wins. All the likes, all the shares, all the listeners on the radio, um, everything, all the likes, shares, listens, uh, everything that adds up, views, if it's a video, uh, everything completely adds up and we take and tally. And the most popular show out of everything that is aired each Saturday between, again, this Saturday the 11th and Saturday, May 2nd, is going to be the winner. And again, you win a full year of your show airing on 216 at 52 weeks. Now, of course, all submissions of the management of 216 net uh, and 24-7 WPL reserve the right to screen all entries and determine, and determine what may or may not be qualifying content based on the overall format of our business model. Based on subject matter and content, some submissions may not qualify. We don't get super graphic here on 216 net. We also, on 216 net, no politics. We just don't do it. We just don't go there. Uh, and 24-7 uh, WPL is a little bit different. Uh, that's a uh, completely different. That's podcasts only, uh, but those don't air on the station. 
The winner will be announced on 216 The Net, live on the air, live over our Facebook stream, and live over our YouTube channel. Uh, and that's on, I believe that'll be Friday. Let me go take a look here. I think that is Friday, May 8th. That is Friday, May 8th. And it'll be uh, announced on What's in Your Loaf, which airs at 7.15 a.m. on Fridays uh, right here on 216 Net and live streams over Facebook and YouTube. Friday, May 8th uh, will be announced. I think it'll actually be announced about 7.45 a.m. toward the end of that uh, that broadcast. So you, you want to turn in. Now, if you've got any questions on this, send it out to 216thenet at gmail.com. Uh, and if you want to be a part of this, maybe doing a show is just not your thing. But you say, holy cow, uh, Pete, Kent, this is freaking awesome. We'd love to jump in and sponsor. We've already had a few people inquire about that. Uh, we can tell you how to do that uh, and uh, mention your business. Uh, you know, the contest is brought to you by especially during the Saturday airtime uh, for each show that we air up there. Uh, just let us know and shoot a note directly to one of us, Pete at 216thenet.com or Kent at 216thenet.com, and uh, we'll let you know how that all works. So there you go. That's the contest for the new show here on 216thenet. And, uh, of course, I'm Uncle Pete. It's Uncle Pete in the morning here on Monday, April 6th. We're having a great morning, and I'm going to let you guys just kick back and listen to all this wonderful music now this morning. Happy springtime. Happy Easter coming up. Happy Monday. course was Liebsgrube Walzer uh, Opus 56 by Joseph Strauss and played by the Andres Nelsons and Vienna Philharmonic. 
and just some springtime classical music. We had a lot of fun playing some goofy kid stuff here about the Easter Bunny a little earlier today. And again, we're going to keep things rolling over on our YouTube live channel and on 216 net. Up next, we've got, uh, well, we got Easter Parade with Fred Astaire and Julie Garland, of all people. And I hope you come hang out with me over there. Facebook Live, folks, we'll check in with you again tomorrow on Uncle Pete in the Morning. Different day, different show. Tuesday, April 7th at 6 a.m. Now that we know how everything's supposed to work. Ah, uh, goodness gravy. Oh, uh, man, what a morning. What a morning it's been. Happy, what is this? Eh, it's happy Monday. It's the Monday for, before the Big E. Here you go.